Good evening, everybody. My name is Bubbycraft, and tonight we're building Harold the Helicopter. Let's get started. I had to build him or place the finished model a little bit farther away this time instead of the next couple tracks over. Just because of the size of the, um, I guess, wingspan, we'll call it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so what we want to do to start is you want to place down um, some rail, obviously, and then you want to put down a station. Make sure that your station um, is put into build mode. And then once you have your station in build mode, what you want to do is you want to remove the blocks underneath that area in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, an 11 by 5 area. Once you have those blocks removed in that 11 by 5 area, make sure that you, you can either remove the blocks underneath the tracks if you want to, or leave them. I also removed the blocks um, and this side here, one here and one here. Make sure that you get rid of at least two blocks in the front worth of track, but you have to get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six blocks worth of track in the back. That should give you a hole that looks like this. And what we're going to do with that hole is we're going to place down an invisible bogey right in the middle. And that's going to be our starting off point. So from there, we want to shift click a piece of the white slash local metal on top of it. And we're just going to go right into building our uh, front of front of Harold so far. Our front of Harold to begin with. Oh my goodness. Learning how to talk again, apparently. Um, I have been sick recently, so I apologize for not streaming as much and everything, but um, I hoping to get back into that soon. Um, I have been playing a lot of Monster Hunter World lately, so I kind of want to start streaming that a little bit more too. But uh, that's stuff that we'll talk about on a later, later date and time sort of thing. Alright, anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to put down a 2x3 block of um, the white slash local metal, and then you're going to go back and surround your invisible wogey with that uh, white slash local metal as well. From here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and place down um, the start of our copycat bites. And you might be saying, you might be thinking to yourself, but Bubby, that doesn't make any sense that you're putting these down in the shape of stairs when you could just put down stairs. Well, you might be right, but what I want to do is have the odd-looking um, odd looking rivet pattern that's made when you do the rivets inside of, or the local metal inside of these copycat blocks, or copycat bites rather. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So um, on, the, on your middle first piece here, in the middle on the top, what you're going to do is you're going to place down basically a copycat stair or uh, out of the bites, and then you're just going to repeat that, but an upside down stair right there. And then we're going to do the uh, bites down the sides here, bites down the sides here, a couple bites there. And then a couple bites there. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you kind of like a protruding bulbous front for Harold. And we're going to go ahead and grab a hold of the um, copycat slopes that sort of go up a little bit. And what we want to do, or go up in levels I should say. And what we want to do is we want to place those down so that they line up with the copycat slabs that we are going to be placing in the back. So there we go. Now we've got the front of our herald. Then we're going to go ahead and take and run our um, white local metal back. And from where you placed your first couple, you're going to go one, two, three, four. So you're going to do a four by two. 
we want to go one, two, three, four. So we've got our four by two. We're going to repeat this on both sides. Perfect. The next thing that I did was I came inside, or I made a cab, if you will. So we're going to grab some copycat panels. And what we're going to do is place down one copycat panel right there, come underneath it, place down another copycat panel, and remove that temporary top one. We're going to place down row a 2x3 row of the copycat panels. The reason that we're doing that... Oh, actually, I'm sorry, it's a 1x3. We get rid of the back row here. The reason that we're doing that is because we're going to be placing down copycat doors. Oops. We're going to be placing down copycat doors that will inevi uh, inevitably open to the back of the helicopter and go towards the back of the helicopter. From there, we're going to come down here again and we're going to place down a row of 2x3. Pretty sure. Let me just come in here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did. I left a little space back there if you wanted to put something in there, like a uh, chest or something. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and build this in, or fill that in rather. So that way we have um, our helicopter, you know, going and everything. So our next thing that we want to do is we're going to start building out the back of our helicopter. We're going to place down a row of upside down copycat stairs with a row of white slash local metal on the top. From there, we're going to run out another white slash row. Underneath that last white slash row, we're going to place down a row of copycat panels, and you're starting to see why we have this giant hole. So our copycat panels are placed down, and then we're going to place down another row of white slash local metal. From there, we're going to go into our copycat list, and we're going to grab a hold of the vertical slope, place those vertical slopes out like so, with a block, a full block in the middle. Grab a hold of a copycat slab, place down two of them, and then one out on either side on the back. Make sure you fill those in with your white local metal. We're going to grab a hold of the copycat stairs once more. Place down a copycat stair. Fill it with the white. Place down a white local metal and place a, or place a copycat stair filled with the white on top of that. From here, we're just going to build out a simple rotor. And actually, what we want to do here is we want to just clean up our palette just a little bit. There we go. So placing down a simple rotor, we're going to do a copycat slab right there, and then go up three on that side, go out three on that bottom one, go down three on that guy, and then go out three on that guy. Next, we want to grab the industrial industrial iron. We want to make sure that it's the one from Design and Decor. The reason being, the one from Design and Decor has connective textures, and it actually looks really cool. Perfect. So we're going to fill in this sort of shape, like kind of a weird X right there. And then we're going to place down uh, white local metal on those outside bits. I'm going to run over here and grab the slash local metal and place this the red slash local metal on the outsides. And that is the back end of Herald, or what's known as the back rotor, done. Or the back 
uh, fin part, if you will. What we want to do now is we want to kind of uh, make this sort of a sloping shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to place down, so we're going to put the white local metal in our offhand. We want to place down a T shape of just the copycat layers, just placing down one layer. Our next row, we're going to go up by two. And then our row after that is three. Our row after that is four. And then our row after that is five. There we go. Perfect. The next thing that we want to do is take a look and realize that... Oh, this back row does not exist. We need to put down the copycat slope layer. I apologize. Again, it wouldn't be a Bobbycraft video if there wasn't a mistake or two. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to place down these slope layers like so, so that they line up with this block here in the back. Your middle one is going to be white local metal. And your back two are going to be the black stained glass. And then what you're going to do from there is you're going to run a piece of black stained glass out from the back of those slope layers. And then you're going to grab the um, gray stained glass and fill in those layers there. What we also want to do is we want to place down a copycat panel right there and fill that with the gray stained glass as well. Instead of placing panels on the top for the roof, we're going to do another another bout of um, layers. And we're going to go in the front here. We're going to go one, 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 two, 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 one, one. And then inside the middle here, we're just going to place down one full block of the white local metal. You can do what I did and use the iron wrapped local metal just to give it a sense of like, I don't know, machinery or something. You can do pretty much whatever you want there. You could even do the industrial iron again if you wanted to. It is entirely up to you. Um, you may be asking, why can't you put the um, bearings inside of there and just hide a motor inside? Well, you certainly can do that. And as a matter of fact, I did have this set up to where there were bearings hidden inside of Harold, and Harold's uh, blades were spinning, and everything looked absolutely amazing. But then I put it out of build mode into, or I'm sorry, I took it out of assembled mode, assembly mode and put it into build mode and the rotor stopped and you have exactly what happened with Harold here where the rotors do not move and nothing spins. So I ended up replacing this piece here as well as this piece here with just the white uh, iron wrapped local metal just to have it. Um, be something a little bit different. Oh, that's right. I put that there. And then we did a copycat board on either side of that. I completely forgot. To hide that, um, the black, or the iron sides on the other three sides. Okay. We're going to place down a, um, a copycat board with the white again right there just to hide the back of it make it a little bit more white a little bit more flush the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place down a one two layer in the middle and then we're gonna place down a copycat layer or a bunch of copycat panels I mean we want to grab a hold of 
the industrial iron that has the connective textures and some red slash silica metal because what we're going to be doing now is placing down one on either side of that copycat layer that you just put down with the iron filled in go out three on either side with the iron Switch your block to the red local metal, go out one on either side, I apologize. Oops. Placing down white there, and then red to cap it off. There is enough room to do red, white, red, but I don't know, I kind of liked it as just the white than the red. I don't know, I kind of thought it looked cool. But you can extend these out by one more and do uh, red, white, red. Whatever you want to do, it's your build. Um, it's entirely up to you. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to start making Harold look a little bit more like Harold. So we're going to clean our palette just a little bit here. We're going to grab a hold of the copycat vertical slice and a copycat slice. I went with the red concrete powder for those stripes down along the side. And I went with the red local metal with some copycat half panels for the different red intricate little details. So we've got one dot there. I apologize, not there. One dot there. And one dot there. And then we're gonna place down one, two. That's gonna represent his nameplate where it says Harold on him. And one, two, right there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a copycat slice on the back side or the left fully left hand side of these white bricks so that you're able to go boop 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 boop. And what we want to do also is we want to grab a hold of the copycat shoot copycat doors place the copycat doors on at this time okay doesn't want to let me in so here we go place the doors so that they open like that there is still a bug in this version that I have of copycats plus where the doors disappear there may have been updates at the time of this at the time of this video's release um, that solved that problem but as of the as of this recording time, that problem has not been solved. So we're going to close the door and we're going to shift right click the copycat slice with the um, red, red concrete powder coloring. And we're just repeating the same design that we made um, on the other one on that side right there. Next thing that we want to do is we want to put the white in our offhand. We're just going to place down some distinguishing details just to give us a little bit more herald appearance. And I started in the wrong spot. We want to start here and go like that so we can place one. That's going to make it look like there's a separation in the windows, which there should be. And there we go. At this point, your version of Harold can be done. This is actually a pretty decent looking helicopter. So if you wanted to just do this as your Harold, you're more than welcome to. It's your build, do what you want. But what we're actually gonna be continuing forward with, we're gonna grab a copycat panel. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna run a copycat panel out from the sides 
like that and leave that there for just a quick second because we actually need to decorate the bottom of Harold, which is the other reason why there is this giant hole underneath Harold. So we're going to grab a copycat layer, still with the white in our offhand, and we're going to place down shift click one on either side. Two, three, two. So one, two, three, two. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give like a little bit of a curve to the bottom of your herald. So that again, that's one, two, three, two. And that just gives a little bit of a curve. We don't add anything else to the bottom of the back, aside from those panels that we already added there. What we're also going to add on this block here is one of these diagonal girders. And then on the back of that stair. One diagonal girder there and one diagonal girder there. And if you were like me and you placed down the half panel right there because I told you to, delete it and put it, move them over. These diagonal panels should line up perfectly with the, the door slat right there. Okay, we're gonna clear out the pallet just a little bit. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to re-grab the copycat bite, placing down, and I'm sorry, black concrete as well. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to grab the white local metal that's iron wrapped. a copycat stair as well. We're going to place the white iron wrapped in our offhand. Place down two um, copycat bites. Place the offhand with the black concrete and make a copycat stair with the black concrete underneath it like so. The next thing we want to do is we want to replace the um, iron wrapped in our hand and place down a, just a, any temporary block to place down an upside down uh, black iron or iron wrapped local metal um, copycat stair. And we're going to continue those stairs down to right here just before the uh, tail starts to curve in. We actually need a copycat panel as well. These copycat panels are going to go right here. 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 And here. And that's what's going to connect the water wings, or whatever you want to call them, to um, your herald. Just continue along running your um, running your upside down stairs and then we're gonna grab a hold of one of the dude that we're just gonna repeat our thing again what this is doing is these are these are acting like the tires that are on Harold that you see so there we go now Harold has two tires, so he can land on uh, land on a tarmac like a plane, or he can land in the water because they act like a flotation device. I'm just going to repeat that process one more time on the other side.
There we go. Now you also have a way to walk up into Harold. The next thing we want to do is we want to fill in the interior of Harold. What I did here was I placed down a copycat layer. And then let's grab the train control and let's grab the seat. So I went with the copycat layer here just so it was, you know, something a little bit more like a step up. And then I placed down a white local metal seat on top of that. You can remove that block there and place the train control right inside. So that's going to be right on top of the invisible bogey. And then when you get inside of the, when you get inside of Harold, you'll have this view. You'll be treated to this view right here. To get out of Harold, just hop down. There you go. Easy peasy. That is your Harold the helicopter. Gluing Harold is a little bit different. What you want to do is you want to start with the propellers. And always make sure that there are no bits of leftover glue from something that you've previously glued. We're going to start with the propellers and just run our bit of glue down through to the other side, making sure that the propellers are separate and there's no other bits of glue surrounding. You can just run one giant block of glue, but you know, we're learning something different. You're gonna like right click the middle on that copycat layer and run that bead of glue down to the white iron wrap local metal. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place down a temporary block here. and then a temporary block here. Next thing from there, well actually from right here, I apologize. Click, right click that guy, bring it over to that temporary block, remove your temporary blocks. And the reason we did that is because we're still gonna glue this so that you can add in motors and have uh, the, the blades whirl and everything if you have the build in build mode. To glue the rest of your herald together, we're going to go ahead and place a bead of glue on that piece there. Run that bead of glue all the way down to that, that panel. Complete that circuit with this pan connecting that panel to that panel. We're going to Boop a piece of glue right there onto that and do the same thing on the other side like so click and complete your circuit like so for this rotor what we're going to do is we're going to just place down a temporary block on either side like that and just whoop, just glue that rotor together remove your temporary blocks and you're back to having your rotors completely separate from everything else we want to grab this middle guy right here Connect it to that block right there. Fill in the forgotten uh, copycat beam with the industrial iron. And your herald is completely filled in, or completely glued. Ah, nope, I apologize. There we go. Now your herald, oh, nope. Nope, 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 shh. Okay, we're almost there. And now your herald is com oh no wait no nope, this guy over here this guy okay and now your herald is oh no nope, I'm just kidding <laughs> now your herald is completely glued and another little trick that's pretty neat is if you hold down for me it's the left shift for you it might be control 
I don't know, but if you hold down, um, I think it's your crouch key, you'll be able to turn all the pieces that are glued blue, and you'll be able to see if anything is missing. In my case here, nothing is missing. So I am free to come over here to my station, assemble that train. You can name your train Harold if you wish. And I'm gonna come in here and test Harold. And what we're doing is we're just looking to see what pieces, if any, have been missed by the gluing. This piece here, we'll just connect to that there, and that's all of our pieces glued. So again, if you take your Herald out of build mode, if you have the same version of copycats um, as I do, you will have to replace your doors. Again, this was just an issue at the time of recording this video. It may have been fixed by the time you watch this. But there we go. We now have Harold. And what I want to do is I want to just show a little something cool here. Utilizing the phantom rails. already replaced those doors. Harold. Utilizing phantom rails. You can do a little something cool. Like so. You can go inside your Herald. And you can just apparently forget to click the train can train train. Hello? There we go. We must have been on a, on, a, on a little bit of a hill here. Yeah, we were. You can put your Herald on some phantom rails and bring Herald into the sky. And eventually I will have a phantom rail track all throughout the island. And not pro probably not all throughout the island, just in some spots. And, and eventually extend Herald's track and make it so that Harold can move around on the island and stuff like that. Um, because I think it would be really cool to put a conductor in Harold and have Harold fly around. I mean, this looks really good, in my opinion. I think that this helicopter came out fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. So I'm just going to come down here. We'll leave Harold up in the sky for a second. I wanted to show you real quick before we go. Um, just another thing real quick, real here, real quick here. If this is in build mode, if you replace this block here with a bearing, a mechanical bearing, not the windmill bearing, the mechanical bearing, replace this block here with an upside down mechanical bearing so that you have the ability to put a, I'm sorry, a right side up mechanical bearing, so that you have the ability to put a motor underneath it, the creative motor, then when he's in build mode, the rotors will spin. And then what you can do here is you can replace, take out this block here, replace the uh, iron wrapped local metal um, with another mechanical bearing, and then just use copycat boards and surround your motor that you put down with copycat boards so that it has a little Harold has a little bit of a jut out on either side and then this bearing will, or this rotor will spin as well this will only work as far as I know there may be a mod and if there is a mod let me know in the comments below um, as far as I know this will only work while the contraption is in build mode again if you know of a way to make this work 
um, without the contraption or with the contraption being in assembled mode, let me know. I will not be adding um, Valkyrian Skies or um, anything similar to that mod to this mod pack, nor will I be adding anything just to you know, temporarily make Herald work. If it's something that fits with the mod pack and it's something that actually, um, I don't know, co cohesively fits and works and all the other stuff and things together, then I might consider it. Um, but for now, I'm not adding anything like Valkyrian Skies or anything like that to the pack. Um, but this has been a tutorial for Harold. I really hope you liked it. If you liked the video, please like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. All the stuff and things. And I really hope that uh, you enjoyed building Harold with me today. And I will see you on the next live stream and or next video. Have a great day. Bye bye, guys.